This is how you give birth. What we're doing is we're bringing Sidon to Gerudo Town. Because last time, we brought Sidon to Death Mountain. I watched the YouTube video, and the, the guy basically said, Oh yeah, it'd be a great idea if someone someone brought Sidon to Death Mountain. That'd be great. So I'm like, fuck it, I'll do it. You know, sure, I'll, I'll go do that. I thought of this on the way home from work today. And I was like, you know what? Like, Sidon's a guy. What if we brought Sidon to Gerudo Town? First off, what you have to do is we're going to make sure we have all the cutscenes done with. Because what happened in Death Mountain was the cutscene actually despawned Sidon. We're going to go to Gerudo first, get the cutscene, also get the clothes. So for the first like 30-ish minutes of the stream, what we're going to be doing is essentially setting up the glitch. We're going to be setting everything up. Twilight Princess is the best Zelda game. Is it real? Why? What makes it the best Zelda game? Without spoilers. Because everyone says it's so, so good. I'm just like curious about it. So we just got to do that. And then we have to go talk to these guys. All right. So we have to trigger this. Hmm. Now that we've gotten the cutscene and all that, now... Wait, no, no. Now we have to go back to the bazaar. My bad. We have to go back to the bazaar. All right, let me let me sell my soul to, to this girl. Buy my stuff. It needs to be night to buy the clothes. I don't think it does. Does it? Yeah, it doesn't. You can buy the clothes right here. It can be anytime. As long as as long as you have the um, the quest. Just to be safe, we're gonna enter with this, just so we don't get a cutscene, and then we can go back to Sidon. Don't we look beautiful? We look so beautiful. Let's get our horse. So you want to get the the horse from from the stable? Uh, it's just the closest one. It doesn't have to be specifically from the stable. You just have to get it from a stable. This is just the closest one to the glitch. Because what you want to do is you want to go to the mounted archery camp. All right. So so here's how you perform it, right? So you want to talk to this guy at the mounted archery camp. Um, it's located. Wait, let me. Let me show where it's located. It's located right here. So we just went to the Highland Stable. Kind of did a little, you know, swirly up and down, up and down until we got to here. Then you want to talk to this guy, uh, Ginny, so you can start the mini game. Once you start the mini game, you're going to be A-OK. -okay. You just need 20 rupees to start. It's like the moonwalk glitch. Yeah, so this is this is the moon jump glitch. Um, we did it We did it when we brought uh, Sidon to Death Mountain. We're doing it again. So in order to do it, you have to literally just say, like, screw, screw that mounted archery camp challenge we're just gonna go up this mountain over here this little hill uh right above these wild horses because the wild horses are very important it's how you actually perform the glitch then you just kind of want to wait it out you want to wait it out until about 10 seconds left because the goal of this glitch is you want to be taming a wild horse in the process of taming a wild horse as the cutscene ends all right so then you want to get to a horse, preferably facing backwards so you don't startle it, but it's fine. So we'll just get on this one. You just want to get on the horse. Here we go. We got it. And you'll know if it's a good... You'll know if the glitch worked if something fun happens. There we go. We got it. <laughs> just got to back it up. Back it up. Back it up. Just back it up, guys. Back it up. Boing, boing. Boing, boing. So then you just want to exit, right? The fun thing we, that we found with this glitch is if you start paragliding, <laughs> you kind of, you kind of go places. You, you, uh, just casually. Is Link okay? Is the main question. Link way, way in the background. He's having so much fun. Then you want to go to the Daga Keek Shrine. It's right over here. Uh, you want to have it already unlocked because this is the only one you can travel to. So if you're wondering what that glitch did, right? Because it didn't seem like much. The glitch was kind of like, ah, you know what? Like, you got a weird horse. It's kind of okay. It's jumping around. It's whatever. No, uh, did you know that Link can just infinitely <laughs> jump forever? <laughs> you know Link can just fly? <laughs> so then what you want to do, the second part of this glitch, really quick, um, is the reason why we haven't touched the ground. Um, the reason why we haven't touched the ground is because you want to talk to Sidon without touching the ground, right? Which is kind of finicky. There we go. So you know you know we did it with if we just drop like that. We messed up, guys. You also have to be wearing the Zora suit. 
Um, yeah, no, we're, so we're fine. We're fine. We don't have to reload. We still have the glitch going, which is fine. I just have to put on the, uh, um, I just have to put on the Zora armor. Okay, here we go. It's not, there we go. Ah, okay. So you want to talk to him and then you drop down. That's how you know you got it. All right, now we should say yes. Now we're going to ride on Sidon's back officially. All right. And then what you want to do once you're riding on Sidon's back is you want to get off of it immediately. And then what you want to do is you want to drown yourself. Uh, and then after that is the fun part because then we got to lead Sidon to his exodus. Uh, we also don't want to get hit by this probably. All right, that's fine. So you'll notice that like the Varuta music is still playing in the background. We are technically in the Varuta fight right over there. What you want to do is you want to take Sidon because Sidon does teleport. You want to take Sidon out of the uh, of the fight. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the, the dam nearby. I look like a fish boy. I look like a fish man, excuse me. You want to get to this, this kind of cliff and then you want to paraglide down right over here. Uh, I think we got to go over here. We're trying to, so we're trying to clip Sidon through, um, over here. So, oh, here, there he is. There he is. There's Sidon. Guys, we got him. We got him. Look at that. We got Sidon. <laughs> Whatever direction he's looking is the direction he's going to start swimming. So you see, like, he's swimming towards this, this that area. Now we want to get him to look towards me over here. And now he's, look, he's, now he's going to swim in a different angle. So whatever way he's looking is the way you... He's going to swim. So we're just going to watch this stuttery mess, if you can see it. Um, he keeps going back and forth, back and forth. And we're going to deal with that until we're out of Varuda. Th that's how you get Sidon out of the Varuda fight. How would you like to see a Breath of the Wild challenge where we defeat every single enemy in Breath of the Wild? You're probably wondering, well, hell, well, like, how do you how do you do that? you have a blood moon. So the blood moon will reset all the enemies. So the scheduled blood moons, which happen every so often at 12 a.m., um, that's fine. It's like fine. The panic blood moons, on the other hand, if you defeat too many enemies and load too much of the map, what's going to happen is that you're going to get a panic blood moon. So the game's going to try to reset all that temporary memory in order to not get a panic blood moon or an actual blood moon. You have to do the siding glitch because you don't get blood moons and you don't get panic blood moons when you're in a Divine Beast or a Divine Beast fight, then you don't get Blood Moons. We have actually tested that. We tested that beforehand. Come on, Sidon. I know you can do it. You can do it. All right, that's fine. Well, blood Moons happen at 12 a.m., right? Panic Blood Moons don't happen at 12 a.m. Panic Blood Moons happen randomly. When the game is too full, the game will force a Blood Moon on you just at a random time. So because we're technically in the Varuta fight, Blood Moons will happen and not reset anything which is kind of awesome. So we're going to go defeat all the enemies in Breath of the Wild without having a Blood Moon. So that's how it's possible. So we want to get Sidon now back into water. So Sidon, hello. There's, there's a couple states of Sidon, if, if you guys have noticed. There's this state where he's swimming in, on land, right? And then there's a state where he just stands, right? And we want the state where he... That's the state where he just stands, right? He doesn't move. The state where he just swims like this is where he does move. So we want the state where he swims a lot more than everything else. That's my theory on how to break Breath of the Wild in the best way, where we just defeat all the enemies. That'll take a while. That'll probably be like a 24-hour stream, and I'll probably do it like before my school starts. All right. One more time. One more time. Oh no, that's not good. That's very not good. Oh god. Oh no. Um. Oh, that's so not. That is. That is very bad, actually. This is very bad. Um. I think we have to redo this. Because we went off the waterfall bad. And so now I think Sidon's going to be... Yeah. Sidon's going to be gone. We have to start the glitch over. And then, you know, we, we have the glide option. What are we looking at? This. All right, great. Okay, so now we are officially out of Zora's domain, guys. We're a little far from home. <laughs> We've taken Sidon from Varuda, and now we got to take him all the way to Gerudo Town. This is the goal. Fun fact, we can't save. 
because we're technically in the Valruta fight right now. Let's pause and let me show you our route. So this is the map. This is the map I put in chat, right? We are about, I want to say like right here. So what we want to do is we want to take Sidon probably honestly directly through all of this. So the only real way is to go through this path. There's a Hinox right here that we probably have to fight and just go through Hyrule Field. I think this is a pretty straight shot. We just have to make sure we go over here to the, uh, what's this table? The outskirts stable. And then once we're, once we're kind of near the outskirts stable in the Coliseum, we'll be A-OK. -okay. Yeah, so he's majestically air swimming now. Uh, so this is how you control Sidon on land, right? So Sidon will stop. If, if we are too close or too far, Sidon will stop. If you are close to him, but a certain distance away, right? Sidon will start to swim. And this is how you bring him places. Fun fact though, if you leave Sidon too far away, he's gonna bob like that. He's gonna bob. And the bad thing about this bobbing is that he kind of starts to head up. And if he goes too far up, then you can't get him back down. Get it together. Get it, uh, excuse me, excuse me. Sassy Sidon right there. Look at this riveting gameplay. Like, look, look, look at this. Oh my god. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's a lily pad. Oh, we just dodged the li lily pad. God, Bob, weave. Okay, we're good. We're good. Okay, that was close, guys. That was really close. Damn. Yeah, such an epic lily pad dodge. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta entertain ourselves while we're st still going. What Oliver's talking about is I was talking about streamers that have their layout where it's like the gameplay is like this. Like, look at this gameplay really quick. Isn't that awesome? Oh, by the way, check out my latest follower, my latest donator, my top donator. Dude, how far on the map are you? I'm right here. We are about a quarter of the way. It's actually gonna take a lot faster than I thought. I'll do some stream editing on stream. So let's make it, let's make the overlay right now. All right, we gotta, we gotta add an image. We gotta get some explosions in there. Some sort of like gif. Ooh, maybe like a purple Nova in the back. Oh my God, look at this. And it's, it, we're, we can't have it obscuring the game though. So the gameplay needs to be over here. Add your socials and different camera angles. Hey, get it together yourself, Sidon. Let's get some double gameplay going on. Let's get, let's get, let's get some double, right? So like the explosion in the background. Isn't this amazing right now? Let's do this. Let's get some triple gameplay going on. Let's get some triple gameplay. Look at that. What is happening? I ask that myself every day. Gotta, I gotta revert all of this back to normal. We'll keep the explosion though. We'll take the explosion. We'll put it over here. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? All right. So now we're going to go across this river. This is the only river we're going across. What? What? <laughs> what? What? I, I mean, we're slowly moving. I just want to know what the hell's going on. Why aren't we moving, like, in the water? Yeah, fa Sidon just doesn't feel like going today. Exactly. Hi, my name's Point Crow, and welcome to Walk the Wild. <laughs> why can you only walk? All right, so to, to explain why I can only walk is it's pretty easy. Too close to him, he stands, right? Um, if we're too far away from him, he also just stands. But he also does this weird sort of little glitch thing, right? Where he kind of like dips forward, which is not good. He's now floating above the, the hill and we don't want him to float above the hill because if he gets too high, then what's going to happen is that we won't be able to get him back down. This is how you give birth. <laughs> if you're just straight up wondering where babies come from, like I, I just got, I got an answer for you right here. Can you bring Sidon anywhere in, Bre in Breath of the Wild? The answer is yes. Should you? The answer is if you have a fuck ton of time and you have nothing else better to do with your life. Jesus walks on water, right? And cucumbers are 70% water. And I, I can walk on cucumbers. Does that make me 70% Jesus? Look at those, look at those keys. Uh, wait, I'm, I lost, I lost the Great Plateau. All right, no, we're going, st we're still going in the right direction, okay. For years and years, our unlikely companions traveled through the harsh terrain of Hyrule until finally. FYI, mobs get mad at Sidon for existing, which is kind of like discriminatory. Cause like, I mean, like he's just a Zora man. Like he, he makes an honest living. Sidon's raw charisma uh, creates a barrier around him, making him invincible. Oh, probably. Oh, we just gotta be careful. Cause we gotta be far enough away where they don't hit us. So I, you know, I'm just gonna defeat these guys. Cause I don't want to get hit. We're about to face a Lionel. Excuse me. Oh, oh no, oh no, no, no. Oh my god. All right, we have one stamina up. What's the best way up from here? We are away from Sidon right now. We are too far away. Panic mode right here. Let's let's open the Breath of the Wild object map really quick. And let's see what we can do with it. So I'm thinking the waterfall right now. So we just fell off right about here. 
Um, there's overhangs. This might this way might be easier to get up. This might be faster though. There's a waterfall. I don't know which one's closer. The more we are away from uh, Sidon, the higher he's going to climb. So we need to do this fast. So let's make a pull. Oh my god, guys, you can't do this to me. <laughs> Nine votes for the cliff. Ten votes for the cliff. I think we might do the cliff. So the cliff, if if I can get it right here, is like right over here. Um, so we're gonna go like that. Straight off. God damn that talus. Jesus! Operation Save Sidon commences. Oh my god, there's Octoroks too. That's fine. We have enough hearts. We just I don't know if we have enough stamina. Stop! Oh my god. If you're naked, you swim faster. Uh, we'll keep Majora's Mask on, though. The Zoro armor increases speed. Does it, actually? Swim speed up. Yeah, okay, it does. We need to keep that on, then. Okay, so we're just gonna be half naked. Fine. We're, we're just not gonna wear any pants. Alright, we're making it. We're making it. Oh, Sidon's here! Oh my god! Oh! Oh! Sidon only goes in one direction. It's whatever direction you're looking at. He's looking at you at the moment. And the reason why I'm going over to these cliffs instead of the other cliffs is that these are more scalable. If they're more like at a slant, then it's going to be easier for Sidon to climb. So we're just going to let him do his thing. And then we're going to climb this ourselves. So once we're done climbing this, then he's you'll, you'll see how we get Sidon to climb cliff, right? So once we get to a certain distance away, what Sidon's going to do is he's going to start glitching out. And every single time he glitches out, he's going to sort of rise a little bit. So if we go, yeah, so you see that right there? That little bob. So he's actually slowly gaining height whenever he does that little bob. It wasn't that fun. We don't need to fight the Hinox anymore. That's true. We skipped it on purpose. He's slowly making his, his way up. He slowly appears over the horizon. Rise, rise my Sidon, rise. He made it! <laughs> Who said that Sidon can't climb sheer cliffs? Come on, Sidon, let's go to Gerudo Town. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna continue on our merry way. You're by the Lyles in this canyon, right? Uh, there's there's no Lyles in this canyon. Are you guys tired of listening to Varuda's music yet? Your voice is masking the annoying music by covering with an even more annoying sound. <coughs> Why are you not wearing pants? Is this you starting another cult? I am, oh, you mean like right here? Oh, you might, I think I know what it is. I think I know what it is. There we go. This is this is fashion of the wild. Oh my god, we don't hear Cass anymore. I'll play Cass. Right? I've done zero exciting gameplay. There's been no really close calls, except for the one time where Sidon fell off the bridge. Um, and I haven't done, you know? Yeah, it's a slightly more involved just chatting stream. Let's be, let's be real here, guys. Let's be real. It's so... Guys, we're so close. We're almost at the bazaar. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 Why is it becoming sandy? Where are we on the map? We're super close. We're super close. We're about halfway between uh, the stable and Gerudo. The entrance is right there. It's it's not it's not right there. The entrance is over there. <laughs> Who thinks that we're gonna we're gonna let him get in? Who thinks that the Gerudo are just gonna be like, hey? We don't really care who you are. We're just gonna let Sidon in real quick. Do a poll. You guys love your polls. I love it. I love it so much. Uh, let's let's open the results really quick. Will it happen? We got like 18 for yes right now. Oh, isn't that beautiful? It looks like you're taking him, holding him hostage. That's hilarious. Haters, yeah, haters will say it's fake. Oh, I love it. Just want to check our Gerudo stuff. All right, we're good. Just want to make sure so they let us in. It is confirmed here, folks. It is confirmed here. Take him to the bar. Oh my god, where's the bar? If it gives a cutscene, then, then we can't do it. <laughs> Wait, they're trying to walk around Sidon. Hey, excuse me. Uh, excuse me there. Uh, excuse me. Uh, excuse me. Uh, I'm sorry. That, that girl can't get to the bar now. We're literally being a public disturbance right now. Sidon's so tall. Holy shit. Yeah, he's actually, like, extremely tall. That's why- that's actually why he can't get to the bar. He's too tall. 
He can't fit under the sign. <laughs> and you gotta do that. Oh, you mean through the big window? Oh, oh my god, yeah, we'll have him hover up the bar. Okay, that's a good idea, All right? There's a way to do this. So if Sidon comes down, gotta lean him over, and we can do this, and we'll just climb up over here, right? So Sidon actually can levitate. So if we wait here long enough, you'll start to see Sidon's head kind of poke up. I've never tested sheer faces before. So we'll wait here for a hot second. Sidon is climbing. <laughs> hmm. Is everything all right there, dude? You're being a little obvious there. I don't know if he's climbing anymore. Maybe, maybe if I go a little bit higher. Like, I, oh, whoa. That's, that's such weird collision detection. Oh, that's why Sidon's floating. Okay, because he got onto the sign. So the thing I'm thinking of, right? We're taking Sidon clubbing. <laughs> so the thing that I'm thinking of, right? Is we got to get Sidon up somehow. Um, I mean, he's getting up right... Oh my god, this is how we do it. So the way we do it is he's climbing right now. So you see, like, if we're far enough away, Sidon will gain elevation. Wow, he looks possessed. We got to get him up higher. We got to get some sort of higher elevation for, for Sidon. So the plan is one, gain elevation. Two... Get above a ledge, next to the bar entrance, three, drop it into the bar. Yes. We're going to do this Mission Impossible style. Yeah, I'll try to get him to swim up the waterfalls. I think that's the best way we can get him to gain elevation. I think the bar is too small for Sidon, even the bigger entrance. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, look. Awesome. We didn't get a cutscene. That's what I was worried about. I actually genuinely think you don't, you can't make that. Okay, maybe Sidon, come over here a little bit more. Like, I know you're, I know you're kind of really tall and high, but I want you to come a little bit closer to me, not just up. Sidon's an alcoholic. <laughs> Kind of tempting fate a little bit, but I want I want Sidon to climb. So right now what we're doing is we're trying to get Sidon to a great a bigger elevation, so then we can like kind of float him over to the bar. I don't know if it's gonna work though. If this doesn't work, then I don't think we can do it. Yeah, he's not, he's not moving. All right, hello Sidon. Let's 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 go on our merry way. Let's go to Riju. I can't do the bar. It's not gonna work. Just knock down the uh, the bar's wall. We gotta get Sidon down. We're gonna have him meet Riju first, and and then the cutscene's gonna play, and then we're gonna despawn Sidon. Sidon, hello. Can you come in? All right. There we go. I, I swear, I actually, like, if Sidon's in the cutscene, that would be amazing. I hope he is. F for Sidon, guys. Goodbye, fish husband. We brought you so far. So far. And yet, in our most critical moment. Actually, what if he's following us still? No, okay. In our most critical. Wait, wait, shh. Wait, do you guys hear that? It's still the breath. It's still the. the the music, Varuda's still playing. Huh? Is it possible? We're in a cutscene right now. Actually, that's really cool. This, I don't know if this cut counts. Mm. Sign, please be in the background. There is hope. There is hope. Okay, he's not in the cutscene, but the music's still playing. All right, moment of truth. Moment of truth. He's still there! Oh my god! My baby! Our lord and savior! What a god! It's beautiful. I was gone for like 40 minutes. Dad actually did it! I did it! We did it, guys!